thing we talk about all the time is contact points. Okay, we have different contact points. You guys look at this. If you look at this handy little tanner mat here, you have, you have all your different contact points. Okay? So when you get set up, they usually have the guys set up with the front line in the front of the plate. You guys are good in the stands. Okay? If I want to hit a ball right, right back up the middle, okay, if I want to hit a ball that's, that's uh, coming down the middle, the middle of the strike zone, I want to hit it back I up just want to announce Coach Kugler is doing his I want to be contact right off the right front foot. XP. A lot of times, I'll show you guys, when they work off the team, they'll set it right here. Okay, I see this all the time, and now they have to hit it. And the only way to really hit this up the middle is if I cut it up the edge and shoot that it. When you try and pull up the middle, make sure you get it off, the front, off your front foot, off your stride foot, okay? So that's your middle contact point. Now, the further that pitch goes inside, the further out in front of you, you need to make contact with the ball, okay? Hit three-third and short. Right? Now, here's your middle. Now, the outside pitch, the outer third, you got to let it travel a little bit further, okay? You kind of see the difference here. This will be a pitch in the outer third. That ball travels a little bit more. Okay? Now, with a pitch on the outside corner, you need to let it travel even deeper. Okay? Almost off your belly button. Right? You guys know what the panda is? San Francisco Giants? Okay? He was off. He's lefty, but he was awesome. Uh, especially from the left side, and let that ball travel real deep and like hitting it off his back knee is absolutely strong. Okay? So, we'll take a tip from the panda. Uh, five swings, unless you're top the way. Alright? Take five swings, hold the way, I'm going to drive it to the right side. <laughs> you're going to drive it to the right side. Take five swings, hold the way, so you raise it up. Okay? More neutral height, middle height, take five swings, right side, you're gonna take five, all right? And then five swings at the top of your strike zone, okay? So you're hitting, you're hitting all levels, right? On the outside pitch, right? Okay, nice and low, I'm gonna hit five swings. Now notice where I hit that ball. That went more towards second base. It's out and third, not outside. Five swings there, five swings here, we're middle, okay? And then five high. Okay. Alright. You're gonna keep doing that. Alright, now we go middle. Now I'm going in. Okay. So you're gonna end up with that inside, low inside pitch. Okay. So I need to be able to stay inside the ball, drive it to the left side. Take five swings, five swings middle, five swings high. It's a tough pitch right here. We'll get to the swing right. So it covers all your contact points, and you took about 90 or so swings, all right? That's a great BP session for you. All you need is a tee and a couple balls, all right? Well, instead of the, the, the really low tee, you can see, is that a strike? No! Why not? Is that a strike? Where's the strike zone? We need out far. Above your knees. Knees? Knees? out here, right? So that's a strike. But we rarely work on that pitch, right? This tee gets so low, gets right on your knees, okay? So we're going to work on this pitch. This is That's a tough pitch to hit. Okay, you got a guy throwing fast, sets you up the way, and uh, tries to push you in, okay? Low inside, tough pitch. So, it's my low inside drill. This is where swing XP comes in. Now, I know you guys already swung these bats because it has a weighted handle way down in here, okay? So, I want to set this pitch up low and inside to so out the front. But I'm going to try to drive it up the middle, okay? You got all this weight. You're going to keep your hands in. You stay inside the ball. You're going to drive that knob right toward the ball. It's almost, it's almost like you're going to golf the ball, okay? So, we're going to take... We're going to take about... Okay, your age six swings or so, twelve swings or so, like, like Ryan is a senior. Okay. Again, really concentrate on staying inside the ball. It's absolutely destroyed. After that, I set up two balls, and I'm working with my partner. I'm going to 
partner here is Ryan. I'm going to load up, and Ryan's going to say inside or outside, okay? Right when I get to my load position. Now make it adjustment. Now take an extra tee or a helmet or even if you use a baseball. Set this up. Right your back foot. Yourself right. Okay. Set up by our back foot. This is what he needs. And we're gonna stride and drive like this. We're driving with the ball. Okay? We get too many hitters that are so rotational, they do this. Okay, and you'll see you'll kick the helmet or the tee to the side if you're spinning too much. You lose power that way, okay? We want to get power from our legs and we're hitting right here. We're going to drive into the ball. So we stride, really push in, okay? Try to create some power. Stride, drive. Stride, push in, okay? Really get the system, okay? Stride, drive. The front toss. Live BP. It's called the big tape drill. Right. So, right when I start my load, tell me to hit or take. Okay. To make it easier, you're going to say hit or take really early before you even throw the ball. But to make it a little tougher, right when they start loading up, say hit or take. Okay?